you were around the Bills long enough uh, to get a feel for a team that's ready to play a big game because you played in several big games with them. You feel like this team is ready for this caliber of a game, a big game early in the season? Uh, do they have that big game mentality yet, or is that still evolving? I think that's the best part about games like this. All these games prepare you down the stretch come January. So uh, just to feel that adrenaline, a little bit of nervous, you know, nervousness about you, the little gut feeling to you, pregame, all those little rituals, kind of the fans, the crowd. Uh, that's what makes it special. That's what makes it cool. But all that stuff helps us. And so, uh, you know, doing those couple Kansas City games for the last couple years, um, I think that's also prepared us. This is another one. This is another great game, great matchup. Uh, come playoff time, we're going to need these games uh, just for experience. So I think our guys are ready. They're excited about it. Uh, we've had a gr good week of practice so far. Uh, like I said, that's the challenge of it. Let's see what we can do in a, go a good matchup against a very good team. Brandon, uh, obviously a big game Sunday. Not surprising to you, but bounces back from a uh, difficult week the week before. Yeah, not surprising at all. Uh, he's a pro. He's been a he, he's one of the be been one of the best kickers in this league for a long time, uh, and so I knew he'd get right back to what he does. He had a great week of practice last week, um, and so he's uh, and then it went out on the field. He did exactly what he does every day. So uh, there was not shocking. Um, he he controls it completely uh, with great kicks, um, and then also something that probably does, gets overlooked probably it, it are those touchbacks he hit. You know, it was a, something we, we potentially would have hung some kicks up and covered some kicks, but when you have that dynamic returner back there deep, um, not all kickers can, can guarantee touchbacks like he can do. Uh, and to so be able to take, the, take that game completely out of it uh, is, is a big thing for a coach to say, okay, that you take that portion of the game out of it as well as making all those kicks he did. And um, he did it. He, he's a great player, so not surprised at all. Uh, on that point, lining up for the 56 yarder. Uh, those of us who have been to Wembley a lot, they were maybe a little bit nervous about that on what's normally a football field, a uh, soccer field. So uh, the decision to go for the long kick first and foremost, but also are you quite excited to be back on a, a more familiar surface this week? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we, we tried, uh, you know, the grass all week. We had a good feeling of what kind of turf, uh, you know, we were going to deal with there. Um, coming here as much as often as we do, I feel like we have a good understanding of what cleats we were going to wear that game. Um, but just trusting, you know, his leg strength, his ability to, kick, to make those long kicks, uh, uh, our confidence never wavered. We were sending him out there. Uh, you know, we talked about it on third down of sending him out there. So uh, it's, it wasn't a last-second decision. There was no gray area with it. It's send him out there, do what he does best. That's why we got a kicker like that in the program. That was one of the reasons why we, you know, we, we felt like we upgraded in the offseason. We got a guy that can make that kick when we needed those three points. It's looking like Jamal Agnew is getting close to returning. Is it the plan to have him returning straight away and just returning kicks and punts straight away? And how much of a difference will he make in that department? Uh, if he's active, he is definitely returning. <laughs> I will not hold him off of that. Uh, um, the guys last week did a really good job. They filled in perfectly, did exactly what we wanted them to, gave the ball back to the offense, got some yards. Great. Uh, but Jamal Agnew is a special player. If he is active, he will be back deep. We'll see how he looks. You know, today's another day to kind of see what he can run around and do. Um, as the week goes on, we'll have a better idea what it looks like. But yes, he will be back deep. I'm hoping he is back. He is very, very good. And he's a big part of our return game, uh, of really flipping the field uh, for our return game. To piggyback on that point, how hard is it to do what Christian had to come in and do? Uh, obviously, Jamal's usually there. He, he's inactive right before the game. I mean, you guys probably knew a little earlier, but then Parker goes down the first one. I mean, practicing it and then doing it in a game when you haven't done it in a bit, how difficult is that? I mean, I think normally as a coach, you get to your third returner, you're pretty nervous. Uh, not the case with me. Uh, Christian Kirk is a pro. He, 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 he's caught punts for a long time in this league. Very consistent, uh, catches the ball super clean. You trust him, you want the ball in his hands. Uh, so it was, uh, uh, it was not a, a concern for me. It was just more the operation aspect of now that's the guy who plays as much offense as he does, now he's got to return punts for. That's the biggest, uh, I guess, concern with it. But as far as him ability-wise, uh, not a concern at all. He's a pro. He's done it for a, a ton of, uh, you know, ton of years, um, and he's done it at a high level. You know, it's just, it's just fortunate we have Agnew that we don't necessarily need him. Most teams, he'd be the punt returner, I'm sure.
Not to give away too much, but does Christian have full go when he's back there, or are you just telling him to catch the ball and be safe? Because uh, I know he's not your main guy. I mean, he's a, he, he, he's a ball player, so I think he's going to want to return. Uh, you know, as much as we want to protect him, probably protect him from himself, he's a ball player that, want, that wants to help the team. And if he, there's yards to be had, if they have a good space, he's going to try to score, yes. Yeah, no, he's not going to fair catch every time. Uh, he's going to return. That's what we do. That's what he does. Brendan mentioned on Sunday to us the operation, uh, you know, snap, hold, obviously kick. It, I'm from the outside looking in, it looks like snap, hold, kick anywhere in football. But what are the nuances of that operation when you do have a new guy who's been somewhere else for a long time? And, and does that take some time in live action to kind of get under? I mean, the obvious is the mechanics of it. Uh, you know, what is the trigger? Is it off your hand? Is it the face mask? Is it the, uh, the you know, the, the, the hand coming off the ground? There's different triggers that they use. Um, so it's all timing. You know, what are they going off? They change the cadence all the time. Uh, you know, obviously to, 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 to get uh, the field goal block team off, you know, off a little bit. Um, but it's all the timing aspect. Where is the, the ball caught? Where are the laces? Because the reality is if those laces are off this much, those kickers know that and see that and feel that. So it's real precise. It's, it, it's down to, you know, a quarter inch makes a difference in the kicking game. Uh, and so that is a big deal. So the more reps they can get, the more consistent they can get, the operation gets cleaner, the better the ultimate result of him making kicks. You know, and, and, and that's part of the process we've been working through. Um, obviously, um, you know, Logan was out for a couple of days in the training camp. Ross missed a ton of time. So we were kind of making up for some of that time, but they've really just picked it up where they left off and really just, I think they're starting to get in their own. The last couple of weeks of practice, we've had some great sessions, and, and this week is no different. We've had some great sessions. So I'm expecting good results come Sunday. It, you know, whatever you typically see in practice, I think that's typically what you see in a game, and that's kind of what I've come, come to realize. Uh, and when you're consistent like they have been, the last few weeks, we're getting in the right stride. I think we're getting in the right, in, in the right mode. Thanks, Coach. That it? Thank you, guys.